Most parents would not even dream of calling police and asking them to arrest their child. But that's what it's coming to. That's reality for many Kentucky families struggling with drug addiction. Casey's Law, aiming to help keep people in rehab, has been around for a while, but it's being used more often now as more and more people are affected by drugs. Miranda Combs introduces us to a family who says the law helped them. Sometimes looks can be deceiving. In a neighborhood where dogs are about the only break in the quiet, there is a family that's breaking the silence of a painful past. And it says, Dad, I'm addicted to heroin. I need help. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Still bothers you? Yeah. Why? Hurt. I'm sorry. It's been a long eight years for the Collinsworths. The first one was Louisville. I'm trying to remember the, the first one was term. the one in Richmond that we took her down and she left okay. immediately. Remember we went from there from Georgetown. I lose there. track. All of them. Their daughter Lindsay has been to almost every state-run drug treatment center around. You always thought they were going to work, or you hoped that they would work. But Lindsay would never stay. There is mm -hmm. nothing that that keeps them in these treatment centers if they don't want to be there. Pictures sit around the house of family visits. And this was taken when she was at the facility in Warm. But each picture wasn't proof of success, but part of the path to a law the Collinsworths believe changed the game and saved their daughter's life. Sucked. <laughs> it's not fun. So. But you knew, you knew it had to be done. Rusty Collinsworth signed a petition of court order that Lindsay was going to treatment or jail. It's called Casey's Law for involuntary treatment. If a person leaves treatment without the court's consent, a warrant is issued for their arrest. Lindsay left treatment and failed a drug test. And I said, hey, my, my daughter's at our house right now, and can you come arrest her for me? She spent 30 days in the county jail. If you would have asked me 10 years ago if I would have ever been proactive about putting my child in jail, I, I would have said, you know, it's crazy. Casey's law has been around since 2004. For the Collinsworths, it became their last hope in 2015. We were convinced we would be burying Lindsay. You know, Rusty and I have talked about plans, um, you know, actually details where we, I mean, it, it's, it was. I even asked Lindsay. I, I said, what, what do you want me to put on you? Because it's going to happen. I was possessed. I feel like I sold my soul to the devil when I was on heroin. Today, she is 10 months sober. I wanted to stop, but I was so physically sick that I couldn't. But her parents could. Her mother remembers waking her up to tell her the police were there to arrest her. Part of me, though, was glad because I knew that the fight was over. You know, like I knew I wasn't going to have to get high for at least as long as I was in jail. Casey's law isn't an easy out for family and friends. The petitioner is responsible for the cost of court fees and treatment and for finding treatment, which can be challenging. But the alternative, the Collinsworths say, wasn't an option. Now you're trying to save a life. You know, you just have to be persistent and become an advocate for your child. Miranda Combs, WYMT Mountain News. This is actually the second time the Collinsworths tried Casey's law. They also set out to use it in 2009, but officials did not follow through on the warrants. They say now with the emphasis on the drug epidemic, the warrants are taken more seriously. The second time they tried last year, their daughter ended up in jail when she left treatment.